les 16 voyelles du français. So uh, I've been doing uh, previously some videos covering uh, the vowels in French, but then I thought it might be interesting to, well, uh, see them uh, a bit more precisely, because basically if we think about phonetics and French phonetics, we tend to think that we've got 16 uh, vowels in French, okay? So we'll cover them, and for each uh, sound I will give you three words okay so we can actually work on that uh, quite precisely okay and the first uh, vowel is i so like in merci okay merci then ri okay same vowel i ri and then il okay so this one is actually quite simple to make it's i Okay, let's see the second, and it's E, okay, and in that case you get to E, ete, parler, it's E, and then you get demander, okay, demander. So one more time, ete, parler, demander. The next one. Belle. So you can see that here it's quite open. Belle. Belle. Same sound here. E. Forêt. Forêt. And here as well. E. M. Okay, so you get Belle. Forêt. M. Alright, so let's see. Numéro 4. And it's a, papa, okay, papa, ma, ma, lac, lac, okay, so one more time, papa, ma, lac. Numéro 5, ba. So this one is a bit lower, actually, so it goes deeper, it's ba. Am, same thing here, when you get this circumflex, am. Lash, okay, so this a is actually lower or deeper than the previous we had, okay. Ba, am, lash. Porte. So you get this O, and it's actually quite open in that case. It's O, porte. Okay? But, same thing, you get this O, but it's quite open, so but. Paul, same thing. Okay? So, porte, but, Paul. And of course, the deeper one. Bo, okay, so this one is really, really low or deep. Bo, do, same thing here. I tend to make them longer, of course. Huh? Do, and then sauter. Okay, so bo, do, sauter. So you can hear the difference between what we had previously and now, okay? These ones are actually, they go deeper. And now we've got this OO sound, FOO. This one is usually not that tricky to make. DO, LU. Okay, so one more time. FOO, DO, LU. Okay, fou, du, lu. Let's see, numéro 9. And it's u, okay? Tu. This one can be tricky for some students uh, who have, uh, well, who are English speaking persons, or then in some cases some students from uh, Spanish speaking countries. So try to insist on that u, okay? It's really, really u, really narrow. 
U. Okay, same thing here. Well, it's the verb. Normally, it shouldn't be pronounced like that, but keep in mind that when you use it, U. It's the verb to have. Blue. Okay. Du. U. Blue. In that case, just to avoid any mis misunderstanding, remember it's the participe passé of avoir, okay, that you use when you use these compound tenses, like uh, passé composé, for instance. Il a eu. Okay, you write it like that, but you, you pronounce it eu. Okay. So, tu, here the participe passé, eu, and then plus. Peu, bleu, feu. Okay, so this sound is e, e, okay, peu, bleu, feu, e. And then we will have a little bit the same, but it's a bit lighter, more open, and it's peur. Okay, previously it was bleu, so really, really deep, bleu. This one is more open and it's peur, okay, uh, peur. Here it's the same, oeuvre, oeuvre. Jeune. Same thing, you don't say je, you say jeune, okay? So it goes like peur, oeuvre, jeune, okay? Numéro 12. Le. So basically it's this e, uh, e uh sound. And you get the same in here, in me. And also regarder. Regarder. Okay, so you get le, me, regarder. Numéro 13, it's this un. So nasal, it goes in your nose. Un. Fin. Okay, fin. Un. Fin. Then another example. Brun. Brun. Okay, fin. Brun, fin. So you write it differently, but then you pronounce it like the first one. It's un, un. Okay? Fin, brun, fin. All right? So uh, in some cases, students tend to struggle with les nasales, but trust me, if you try hard, uh, normally you can master them. So it's just a question of time. You just need to practice practice and practice. So let's see numéro 14. Numéro 14 and it goes like un. So if you compare it to the previous one, uh, well in many situations nowadays if I'm really honest, the uh, difference between the two is quite narrow and almost uh, invisible. But then, um, well, phonetics like to make some differences between the two so this one should be a bit deeper in a way and it's un okay the previous one was un this one is un all right brun same thing it's not brun but it's brun all right un un and the last one would be humble okay so you've got un Brun, humble. One more time. Un, brun, humble. Numéro 15. Numéro 15, you've got the sound en. Dans. Okay? Dans. Second example. Blanchir. Blanc, blanc, blanchir. And then. Sentir. Same thing here. En. Okay. Dans. Blanchir. Sentir. In many situations when you practice on your own and when you try to, to, to reach this sound, uh, try to make the sound um, longer. 
okay and try to insist so you can do it like don just to, to to practice that and after that you can make them shorter and like more normal okay so don blanchir insist sentir okay sentir and after that you can make normally like don blanchir sentir let's see now the last one and it's Mm. Same thing nasal, it goes in your nose and then your mouth should be like really round. Bloom, bloom. Okay, then fond and last tombé. Okay, tombé, tombé. Blon, fond, tombé. One more time. Blond, fond, tombé. They are normally quite tough to make, okay? But then uh, it's just, as I said, a question of time. So try your best and don't worry, you will manage to pronounce them.